Okay guys, I'm just going to show you a little move that um, sometimes when you take someone's back, you, you don't want them to start, uh, I mean, the concern is you don't want them to start swimming you off and, and things like that. You want to get them down to their side and get on, you know, get bring them down so you can work more back mount stuff. Uh, one trick that I like doing, I see, yeah, just turn this way, a little more, okay, so is using instead of two hooks using one of my legs hooked underneath his um his shin here now you're going to see this in a power half uh, that i'll do uh soon adding this element to the the one hook in and looking for my choke i can lift lift and extend to help get him down to his side here and by doing that, I can add the timing of the choke with it. I can do a lot of other things, but it will ruin his base. And um, it's a nice ride to get in, uh, get used to see. Uh, a lot of, you'll see this in wrestling, but it's great with this kind of technique. So if I'm in this position where, you know, instead of putting two hooks in, I have one hook in and I have my hands locked up and I'm looking for a choke. I got that deep hook in. Now what I can do is I lift and extend and hit the rear naked choke and oh, at the same time. Now from here, I keep it. But when you're here, make sure you squeeze your knees and, and, and be strong here. Because this is uncomfortable a bit. But if something was to go wrong and he tries to get away from me and turns this way, this buys me more time, slows him down. And I can beat him to the punch. So when he starts to turn, it turns out I can come back up and now fight or switch butt drags and do other things. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Let's get a little further. Well, yeah, it's good. So maybe I'm, I'm riding. I'm trying to. I'm trying to take his back. Whatever the case is. Boom! I get my hook in. Foot goes in. I'm looking for my choke. I extend and finish. Okay.